Thank you for tuning in to the Lone Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Kayvon Frazier, first and foremost, this guy is beyond a special teamer, guys. He's one of those guys that he can fly out to the ball. He's a sure tackler out there in space, too, as well. Now, even on special teams, you can see his skill set, his attribute, his ability to make things happen out in space. He's one of those guys that I would like to just see more snaps out of him. Now, he's beyond what I'm saying, a box safety in this system. He's the guy that can be the enforcer. He can also lay the wood down there and those are things that we need to have out there on the field now as a uh, linebacker is playing the strong side on this play right here and watch how he delivers the boom uh, we kind of been missing that because of the teams uh, uh, we've been playing i've told you guys before that physicality is everything the ability to just put that mental force out there and have the the notion for the opposition to say where's number 35 that is what Kayvon frazier brings out there to the team he's one of those guys who's not afraid to put his nose and be grimish enough to get into the mix that's what I like to see, guys. You got to have that type of mentality when you're playing box safety or when you're just playing safety in general. Now, I'm not trying to cast any aspersions or sully or denigrate Byron Jones, but he just not going to be able to bring that type of temperament out there on the field. To me, Byron Jones is nothing more than a than a DB, maybe a free safety that can cover the tight end. But watch this play right here. Explode, explosive, and tackle. He's a sure tackle out there. And he's not afraid to get into the opposition mindset and into the, the opposition frame. He lowers his pad level and he will deliver the boom. That's what I like to see, guys. That's what we need to have out there on the field. It's all about setting the tone. And he is the pacemaker out there. He can be the heart and soul of a defense, putting the pressure and making teams think and say, hey, where's number 35? Now, we want to look at number 31. <laughs> The way he tackles, he allowed the opposition to get into his frame. It's amazing how he can tackle upright and yet to get embarrassed. That's just one of the things out there. Not trying to sully or denigrate Byron Jones or cash expurgents or all those things to him. It's just that his tackling technique is just not watch out for number 31. Team's just not going to say that. He allows this. Uh, he just doesn't get his pad levels low, guys. And there's just been a just looking at the tape. I'm just going to show a few clips here. I know some of the Byron Jones apologists are going to be like, uh, you're just showing a few clips of him. But if you go back and you look at all of his clips and film, you're going to see this guy just tackles the way he does. Now, is he a sure tackler? Yes. Byron Jones will make the tackle. It's just that he doesn't leave you things to remember him by. And that's what my guy number 35 does. Let's take a look at how number 35 actually tackles after these few clips goes by. But those are things that just, just always have reservations in my mind about number 31. Will he ever live up to his first round draft pick? I really doubt that and I digress. But look at number 35. Watch how he delivered the boom. He leads like a he's sickling missile. And that's what you need to have out there on the field, guys. Somebody who can set the tone and put impressions out there to say, I demand for you to have respect on my name, number 35. That's what I like to see, guys. I'm not just pumping this kid up. That's what he brings to the table. The aggressive, the more physical team always win. And that's what I like to have out there on the field. It becomes contagious and everybody plays with that wild heart, that type of ferociousness, that temperament. Everybody is contagious, and I love what I see when I see that. You got to love that, guys. You got to love a player that's going to be able to come out there and make the tackles and have you to think twice about catching the ball across the middle. As we saw this game, there was several fumbles and things of that nature out there, too, as well, because they're thinking in their mind. Where's number 35, right? So those are things that I like to see out this uh, kid. I hope this team can just bounce back and just start to win and play with that continuity out there in the backfield. We do know that this, this team is still young. The secondary is still young. But if you have these type of guys that's going to grow within the system, that can be sure tackles in this system. This Tampa 2 defense is just not that the hardest defense in the world to learn. But once you learn it, you know it. And that's been my time, guys. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute, and I'm out. Peace.